G'day guys, Glenn VK for NGA. Uh, I've just plugged this hotspot in and uh, waited probably three or four minutes for it to boot up. And as you can see, the uh, grid and lights on. And can you see the red light flashing? Where is it? It's hard to see. It's in there somewhere. Anyway, it's flashing slowly as opposed to this one over here it's flashing fairly quickly so it's booted up but what I want to show you is how to get into the PyStar software the easiest way to get in there now this hotspot's already got my home Wi-Fi file dropped onto the SD card so if you haven't been able to achieve that then this video is not going to be much use to you. Uh, I'm going to record another video, so there's another video coming out which um, shows you how to do that or how to get these one of these onto your Wi-Fi network. So we're assuming that you're um, you've got this onto the Wi-Fi network. All you've got to do is log into the PyStar dashboard. So we'll come over to the PC and we want to run Advanced IP Scanner. So you need to download that if you haven't got that and open that up and just click up the top scan and just wait for everything to appear this is scanning everything on my uh, home Wi-Fi network now this hotspot will come up as pi dash star you can see there's a bunch of them there but uh, none of them have got a blue See the, uh, it's up in blue, none of them have got blue in them, that's because these are all other hotspots that I've built, and it's just remembering those, so we come up and we want to find the one that's up in blue and it says pi dash star, you can see it there, pi dash star, it's got in brackets pi star too, that's only because it's been on the network before. A particular Raspberry Pi. So we look at the IP address. So we come across here to uh, Pi Star 2. We right click, come down to, I'm trying to look through the camera to do this. Copy. Copy IP. And then we close the, uh, close this. Open uh, any browser, so we'll go into Chrome, and we just come up the top, <coughs> right click and paste, and just uh, hit the end of button, and that will bring up, now, this is a freshly built hotspot. So, if it's a hotspot I've already built for you, it'll um, have cons configuration in there. So this one comes up with username, so we just type in pi-star. And then the password is raspberry, all lowercase, r-a-s-p-b-e-r-r-y. And sign in. And, yeah, we'll save that. Okay, so as you can see there, it's not configured. So that's the best way to get in to the um, to the uh, dashboard. Um, a lot of the information on the net will tell you to type in uh, up here. It'll tell you to type in uh, Pi Star dash local or Pi Star something something admin and all sorts of ideas but using the IP address with IP scanner is the best way to do it because as you can see all of my home all of my stuff on my uh, home Wi-Fi is on there you can see other Pi stars on there they're just the, uh, these other hotspots down here that are running uh, plus the open spot up there so yeah so, um, but this one here that's uh, highlighted is um, 
is it? So there's the IP address 192.168.20.22. So we're just coming down here and uh, yeah, there it is there. So that's the best way to get into the uh, Pi Star dashboard and as I said um, if you haven't already got your home Wi-Fi set up on the um, on the hotspot and it is a um, MMDVM simplex on a Pi Zero, so one of these, then they don't have a LAN cable a LAN port so you'll um, you'll have to get it onto your Wi-Fi so there's another video for that. Alright so hopefully that's helped you. Um, I'm not going to uh, show you how to do the config on this video or I'll save that for another one. Alright thanks for watching. 73 is all the best. VK4NGO.